Welcome. Do you want to stay? I suppose we shall. What is up, guys? My name is Flares, and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss Blind. Responds with force tomorrow. Uh, we get the fuck out of town. We'll persuade him, no matter what. Oh, I guess that. Yeah, that that's a good it point. It might not come around that easily. Then I'll stay and convince him, even if it costs me my life. Natalia. That's surprisingly noble and probably incredibly foolish. I was a fool. Well, I mean, I was a fool. I thought my job was to help the suffering in places like Axeriuth and the front lines. Wait, Natalia is... No, she couldn't be. But I was wrong. Oh? I should have stayed by father's side and admonished him when he strayed down this errant path. Natalia, you truly are this kingdom's princess. I want to be. I love this country from the bottom of my heart. I read your documents. Your proposal seems to contradict the score of the sixth phone stone. Yeah, we noticed that too, but um, there's something else that contradicts the score of the sixth phone stone. The score is no longer useful. It started to go wrong when I was born. Replicas. Father, clinging to the score will no longer bring prosperity. This is the moment the world's leaders will truly be put to the test. I really don't like that Mose is here. Can, can we just get him out of here? We nobles exist precisely for times like this. The royal family does not exist to live in luxury, dependent upon the score. What would you have me do? Sign a peace treaty with Malkuth and allow us to lower the Outer Lands to the Cliff Off. Unthinkable. The Malkuth Empire is our sworn enemy. Only a traitor would suggest such a thing. I really don't like this guy. Do not let them deceive you, Your Majesty. They've likely been bought by Malkuth. These are merely the ramblings of ignoble imposters. Silence! Only a fool clings solely to lineage. No one is born a princess. Only through diligence does one achieve the grace and dignity required of that title. I know not whether I possess the grace of which Jade speaks. But you raised me for 17 years. It is with great pride in that time that I say this now. Make peace and lower the land. I ask this out of love for this country and for you, Father. Very well. Oh? Wait. We, we, we convinced him? Uncle, really? No, your majesty. Don't listen to the babblings of these... Silence. Do not insult my daughter's words. We got him on our side. Father. Natalia, you have awakened the love and concern for this kingdom that I had forgotten. Father, it hurt not to be the princess, but what hurt so much more was not being your daughter. While you do not share my blood, I will never forget our time together. I will never forget the moment you first called me father. Oh, father! Natalia has received the Child of Lanvildir title. I'm happy for you, Natalia. This actually opens up a lot of side quests from what I saw in my guide. No, they've still got a lot of talking to do. They're going to start over as family. Yes, we can't go back to when we didn't know. Hey, what happened to Mose? He just kind of stormed out of the room. It looks like he withdrew to Doth. I doubt he'll do anything immediately. To Doth? Okay, let's settle things before Mose can interfere again. 
The moment where he instead went to Grand Kokma. Then Malkuth is next. Let's go. How perfect. I already wanted to stop there. Natalia, I'm so happy for you. Natalia, I'm so happy for you! Me too! After 17 years together, petty things like bloodlines shouldn't mean anything. Thank you. I had never thought I would be so happy to be accepted. You'll have plenty of time to talk things over with the king now. Yeah, now that he's accepted Natalia, he's acting more like he did before the war. Yes, but I doubt we can think of each other as we as we had before I, I learned the truth. As Guy said, the coming months and years will be important for us. Yeah, but there's no rush. You'll have plenty of time together. Especially now, especially now that Moe's can't get in the way again. Yes, I think Kim Laska is safe in the king's hands now. I hope so, anyway. Hmm? Guy, did you say something? No, it's nothing. Let's head for Grand Kokma. Yeah, let's go. Alright, let's dip. Actually, can we stop over the manor now? Is that a thing that we can do? <laughs> um, I think... Let me double the checking here. Do, do, do. Yes, yes. That thing I was looking for last time, we should be able to do now. I, I misremembered uh, what it said in the guide. So, we should be able to... I think it's up in Natalia's room, or is it in the other room? We'll find out. Ah, it's up here. Your Highness, may I help you? What is it, dear? What? Uh, oh, n nothing. <laughs> I know. I bet Tyr looked at that maid uniform and thought, it's so cute, or something. My, really? You should have said something. You, help her change into a maid uniform. W wait. Yes, your highness. This way, ma'am. But I... <laughs> oh my god. Wow, it looks nice on you. Um, I... There you are. We've got an emergency. Come help. What? What is it? Uh, Secretary of the Interior, Alpine, forgot the royal seal somewhere in the castle. You two, hurry and look for it. And don't let anyone in the court hear about it. Uh, um, please don't tell Princess Natalia about this. I know, we'll keep it a secret. Losing the royal seal, uh, blah, 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 blah. Losing the royal seal is a major problem. I'll help look for it. Thank you. A cat! Come here. Is that the royal seal in your mouth? Thank goodness. You found it for us, didn't you? You're a good kitty. Meow. Ah, you're the one who found the royal seal. Thank you. Where was it? A cat had it in its mouth. A cat? Are you certain? Hmm? Yes. Hmm. I suppose that's all right, then. Well, n no, it isn't, but... Oh, well, allow me to grant you a reward. Hmm? Have we met somewhere before? I you're probably thinking of someone else. Uh, excuse me. My, you were gone a long time. You never came back, so we started looking for you. I'm sorry, there was a cute cat. A cat? There shouldn't be any cats in the castle. Really? Perhaps a stray wandered in then. Into the castle? I doubt that could happen. By the way, there seemed to be a rather large commotion inside the castle. 
Who knows? Anyway, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go. Go? Dress like that? Oh. My, you must really like it. I'll give it to you, Tear. I I'm sorry. Tearers received the proud maid title. Okay, so legit question now. Uh, party display. Status, tier. Proud maid. Rockin'. Ha <laughs> ha! Costumes! <laughs> we're leaving it on. Um, while we're, uh, in here, we'll go ahead and switch Natalia down to the child of Landvaldir. Oh, I never switched her to the false princess. Huh. Oh well. Um... Hmm... Making sure I don't have any newer ones. I guess former attendant would be newer. Even even relieved of your post, you are still a valuable link to the phone master. Proof of the trust placed in you. All right. I suppose I should rearrange the party. Ah, that's better. <laughs> no, I'm gonna put Anis uh, in the party, in the active party. Um, I think that is all that we have to worry about. We're gonna run around with here in the maid outfit now, just because we can. Oh wow, we are on this side of the castle. Okay, I didn't, for some reason I didn't piece two and two together. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 so we were all the way down here. Oh my goodness. Books, the book titled The Mark of Lanvaldir Royal Family. Mark of the Lanvaldir Royal Family. Since generations past, proper successors born to the Lanvaldir royal family have consistently had red hair and green eyes. These features serve as proof of royalty and are top priority when determining the order of succession. Huh. There is a book entitled Kimlaska National Census. Read it. The capital of light, Batical, 500,000. Whoa, this is a huge place. The border fortress, Kitsur, 60,000. Really? Wow. The mining town Axariuth, 10,000. Asterisk, Axariuth belongs to the king kingdom of Kimlaska, uh, Kimlaska Lanvaldir. So, wait. <laughs> How old is the census? Because I thought that belonged to Malkuth. <laughs> uh, the city of Craftsman Sheridan, 80,000. The city of Phone Machines, Belk. Wow, Belkin's at half the size of Batacle. Total population of the kingdom of Kingdom Laska Landaldir approx 1.5 million. Wow. Um, okay. There's the the reminder that we killed 10,000 people. Ritual of the score. The feature inscribed in the score is completely accurate. Really now. <laughs> is it for the reason that we have our birth score, or it is for this reason that we have our birth score read once a year to provide guidance for the coming year. Common ceremonies include the coming of age ceremony performed at the age of 20 and the marriage ceremony, which can be performed from the age of 16 if both members consent. Huh. Okay. So in some form of the land dreadnought Tart Tartarus. Wait, we have a book about the Tartarus? What I was gonna say though is that in in some some form or another, you, huh, Luke and Natalia could have already already gotten married, but of course Luke's not Ash, and yeah. The land ship exported to Malkuth is equipped with phone tech based weapons, but it's also possible for Phonus to attack with phonic arts from beside those weapons. Levitation and propulsion is provided by a phonic glyph at the base of the land ship using the, the land ship using the fifth phonon. A total of seven of these land ships have been deployed in Mulkuth. Each ship can carry up to 660 personnel. Huh. Mulkuth in haste. 
perhaps provoked by the development of our great kingdom, Kim Laska. Uh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Let me start over. Per perhaps provoked by the development of our great Kim kingdom, Kim Laska, of the Albior aircraft, the Malkuth Empire recently ordered a new landship from Sheridan. However, they try such landships could not never be used to attack Kim Laska, and will likely serve only for strolling around the Rugnica Plains. The development cost paid by Malkuth will provide an excellent boost to our kingdom's coffers. Okay. There is a book entitled Prosperity Through Phone Tech and Phone Machines. Phone tech, or phonic technology, refers to the use of phonons and mechanical devices. The devices created through the use of phone tech are called phone machines. Unlike Malkuth, the Kingdom of Kimalaska has invented significant effort or invested significant effort in phone tech, developing many kinds of phone machines which have led to today's prosperity. Huh. Oh my god, there's even more down here. Building the Capital of Light 1. Battle the capital of Kimlaska was created in the crater left by a gigantic phone stone that fell from the phone, phone stone ring. The phone stone fell at nearly vertical angle, leaving a high rim around the hole it created. The first settlers made their homes on that rim, but later began developing the inside of the crater to obtain a more comfortable environment. Over many years, the seawater was dammed up and a port was built. Buildings grew higher and higher as they searched for sunlight. Later, the phone tech and phone machine revolution led to the installation of machines throughout the city. This industrial activity and the wideness of the land drew people from around the world, and the city eventually became the capital of the kingdom. Record of Natalia's Growth Sylph Day, Luna Reed Deacon 15 Though it is such a short time since her birth, Natalia stood up for the first time today. She has a dignified stance not unlike my own, and I can even see the dignity of royalty in her. I cannot wait for the day she calls my name. I swear here that I shall lead Kimlaska Landvaldir to prosperity for the sake of my beloved daughter Natalia. Yulia's Phone Stones on clear days, phone stones could be seen floating in the sky. Most of these phone stones were formed when Yulia, founder of the Order of Lorelei, released the seventh phonon from her body back into the world, and these, those phonons crystallized. We can learn the future by reading the score from these phone stones. Kimlaska's Phone Tech Kimlaska includes the cities of Sheridan, specializing in phone, phonic technology, and Belkin, the center of phone machine research in its lands. The phone machines developed in these cities are treasured throughout the kingdom and form an invaluable part of everyday life. The air cars and elevators in Batical are just two examples of this technology. All about the Albior. The manned aircraft in development at Sheridan, still in development at this time of writing, ND2 2016, the craft is planned to be 24 meters long and 8 meters wide, and will be able to carry around 20 passengers and crew. The theory of flight has been fully developed, and once sustained flight has been attained, it will be a matter of time before the craft's development is complete. Huh. Oh, you know what I just realized? This is the area they based the title screen off of. I've been looking for the area that it's based off of because they always try to do that where like it's a scene in the game. It just clicked. That's cool. Okay. We can get out of here now. I am on the first floor. No, I am not. No, the king lives upstairs. We spent a lot of time reading stuff. There were a lot of books. So we're headed for Grand Kokma now. Okay. I did realize uh, after I ended the last episode 
um, that I forgot to do the thing I was gonna do at the the inn in Sheridan. Master Luke, you're safe. I'm certain the people of Batacle are relieved as well. I did realize that we forgot to revisit the inn um, in Sheridan, so we'll have to do that after we visit Grand Kokma, because I'm sure it's gonna push us back to Sheridan anyway. Look at all the maids. All of the maids. Oh, hi there, Pear. Pear, what are you doing here? Master Luke! Ah, the sword. Were you looking at this sword? Yes, the sword holds many memories for me. Pear! Oh, yes, M my apologies. Apologies for what? And how come you suddenly shouted at him, guy? It's nothing, don't worry about it. Now you're just making me more curious. Well, okay. If I lose the bet, I'll tell you. Bet? What bet? You forgot? Then it's a secret until the bet ends. <laughs> what bet? Okay. Now please take care. Anything going on in the drawing room? It's been a long time since we've been back to the manor, so I figured I'd, uh, explore around a little bit. Just see what's changed, and also I believe that started a side quest, and I kind of did it by accident, but, I mean, it was pretty obvious that that was gonna happen. We got a little scene there, which I believe, um, starts a side quest to get a, a powerful weapon for Guy. Mother, is there anything you'd like me to do for you? My, what's happened, Luke? I want to do something for you. You're such a nice boy, Luke. I'm happy enough just to hear that you feel that you feel that way. At this rate, I'm not going to get any money. Mother, I'll massage your shoulders. My. Thank you, Luke. Uh, let me give you some allowance. I'm sure you need money on your travels. 30,000 gold. It's not enough. Mother, your shoulders are still stiff. Luke, you've grown up to be such a fine young man. That's enough, Luke. You've been doing it for quite a long time now. You must be tired. I'll give you a little more allowance as a reward. Oh my god! <laughs> 200,000 gold! Madam, surely that is too great an amount for a mere allowance. He needs to learn some self-reliance as well. I think you can give him a little less than that. You think so? Then I'm sorry for being strict, but let's make it a make it a less. <laughs> she just gave me more. I just got two hundred forty thousand. No, she took it back. Ah, oh, guy. That would have gotten me. Ah. Oh. I would have been able to hit two quests for the price of one. Oh, hi, Pear. His Grace will be angry. Anything new in Luke's room? That looks like a no. Okay. Ah, okay. I haven't been able to... Okay, I haven't been able to actually get this arcane art text until now. <laughs> because we can't see that scene with Suzanne until um, Natalia has the Child of Lanvaldir title. I just <laughs> I just caught it in my, uh, my uh, side quest guide. All right, let's see here. I doubt there's anything else for us to really do around here. Nothing new, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna go and check all the rooms. I bet there's nothing different around here. 
if there is, you beautiful bastards in the comments can let me know. <laughs> I see you, sword. I know what you're up to. That's right, bow to me! Bow to me! <laughs> Duke Fabra residence. All right, so we can start to head out now. In fact, um, I do see that there in my my little side quest guide, there is one more. I think, um, one more scene that we can get, and then it looks like the Colosseum's open of all things. That's not where I want to go. Wrong staircase. So if I come over here. What's wrong, Natalia? I had thought I'd fulfilled my duty as royalty. What do you mean, thought? You opened the port, built a clinic, lots of things. But who's to say those weren't merely for my own self-satisfaction? The people of Batical feel honestly grateful to you. Isn't that proof enough? Even so. All actions begin with a desire for self-satisfaction. Really? For example, suppose Natalia felt she wanted to work for the kingdom, ignoring personal gain. By acting on that thought, Natalia still satisfies her own desires. Well, yeah, but Jade, that's missing the point. Indeed it is. I'm quibbling. But once something gains other support, it grows beyond mere self-satisfaction. If that's the case, you've got the support of everyone here in Batical. That's proof that you're not being selfish. No, there must be more that I can do. As a commoner in this position, I have a duty to think of the people's happiness. The people of the city have accepted me. I must fulfill their expectations. Natalia, you're amazing. Yes, but you can do things little by little. Do what you can, slowly but surely. <sighs> I guess royalty can't just sit around in pretty clothes eating yummy food all the time. Well, countries with royalty like that wind up falling apart. Once she truly thinks of the people, how will she feel toward monarchy itself? Did you say something? No, nothing at all. That was a nice little scene. Hello, little kid. I'm so happy Princess Natalia came back. Did you say anything else? There's a coliseum or something that opened after the princess came back too. Hey, the Coliseum's open, like I was just saying, actually. <laughs> um, we can check it out. I'm not actually gonna go ahead and like, um, well, there's costume titles out of, I can get out of it, huh. Ah, okay, so um, by, <laughs> by clearing the Coliseum on the, the advanced level, um, Looks like each character will get their best weapon and uh, Jade gets a costume title and not a best weapon, which is neat. I mean, I'm not, I don't have any, any plans to cover the Coliseum, but um, I don't actually, yeah, I don't really wanna do the, the Coliseum stuff. I mean, like it would probably be good to get, you know, the great equipment, but we can do it later when it's not you know, hard as balls. We need to go down to the port though because the Albior is down there. We need to make our way for Grand Kokma because we have story progress to make or something. I don't know. Cause uh, that's the last thing listed in my, in my, uh, my deal. <laughs> in my um, side quest guide. I. Like, can't think words all of a sudden, it's not good. 
but my side quest guide is... Hmm. It is suggesting we stop off at Ketterberg for something, because now we have stuff that we can do there or something. Let's see Emperor Peony. Emperor Peony shouldn't present any problem. Yes, he's been a favor of peace since the beginning. So let's just run in there and get this treaty taken care of. It's not something that we can just agree to, or they can just agree to. We'll need a conference and to formally sign the treaty. Yes, let's discuss that with the Emperor as well. Alright, off we go. Uh, so, first stop is gonna actually be Ketterberg. Because, I mean, there's a, there's a recipe or something we can get now, it looks like. Um, now that we, ha now that Na Juan, Natalia has gotten the, uh, Child of Lanvaldir title, which allowed Tyr to do, to get the Proud Maid title, which now allows me to do this thing and Ketterberg that gets me a recipe, so I'll just cut to Ketterberg. Oh wait, this is the casino. Oops. Ha! <laughs> Went in the wrong door! I totally just spaced out for a moment there. Go me. We're gonna get a scene now because Anis and money and stuff. So this is the casino, huh? Looks pretty fun. I had heard about it, but all of this gaudiness is rather discomforting. Yes, it is pretty, but it makes me feel out of place. This casino was built back when this area was first developed as a resort. There's actually a little legend about this place. They say if you hit the jackpot on the second slot machine from the end, you win a castle. What? Oh man, it's so obviously a lie just to attract customers. Hey, come on, you cheapskate! What's wrong, Annis? Everybody's staring at you. They said miners aren't allowed to play in the casino. Boo! <laughs> it's not that bad. All you need is a parent. What about Jade? I mean, he's practically a parent. Papa, <laughs> can I please get my allowance pretty please? I'm afraid not. Woo! Fine then. Guy, go get me some chips. <laughs> That's right. My looks don't work on Guy. <laughs> See, okay, so th th this scene is intended to be played out b when you first get to Ketterberg. <laughs> Anis has received the grown-up child title. That's why you come in here. An unexpected pitfall. First I'll get rich at the casino, then I'll be the center of attention, and then, ooh, all the wealthy suitors. <laughs> That's awfully optimistic. I prefer the term forward-looking. After all, you've got to believe if you, if you want to be... Doesn't that go, those who believe <laughs> are saved? Save shmaved, I want money! <laughs> Why is that? The previous emperor outlawed it. Apparently he saw gambling as immoral during wartime. Hey, that's cheating! I hate Malkus! So, wait, I can't exchange chips for... I can get prizes though. Life bottle, uh, melange gel, great sword, silver cloak, undyne. Ooh. Soul steel, wizard cane. I believe undyne is a spear for Jade. I'm fairly certain. Undini. Both pronunciations actually work with that. Undyne and Undini are both 
proper pronunciations. I'm fairly certain. Now, for what I actually came here is I want to go back to the hotel and go up to the second floor. Back to the restaurant. Because I guess we can do... Um... Yeah, I can do the waitress minigame again with Tear in the maid outfit. And we'll get a new recipe. So, that means I should grab my notebook so that I can write stuff down. <laughs> this episode is all over the place today. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes, it is. Alright, let's go into this restaurant. Restauranto. Hi there. Oh, it's you! I didn't recognize you, that's some outfit! Uh oh, this is, uh... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what... What was the, the voice I, I, like, I tried to, like... You came here to work again, right? And you even wore an outfit like that! I love your enthusiasm! Let's get you started right away! Hold on just a minute, you already have me, isn't that enough? Last time was a mistake, you've got me working now, right? Well, yeah, but she was really popular last time, she helped bring in customers! That's not the voice, but who cares? You make it sound as if I don't! Oh, I, uh, I mean... Listen, you, if you're just playing around, would you please stop? This is my job. Just because your breasts are a little big, you come here dressed like that. All right, fine, let's settle this. I challenge you to a competition. Come on, don't say that, you two can work together. Quiet, chef, or chief, that's chief, not We're going to compete to see which one of us can earn more money. No. Are you going to run away? This is absurd. Come on, Tyr, go for it. And then let's take her money too. Don't be stupid. <laughs> She's jealous of you, Tyr. That just shows how attractive you are. Go ahead and play her game. Yeah, it'll be fun for us to watch. Now let's go. <laughs> I hope they don't forget how to properly treat the customers. Just dock their pay if they do. Oh, I am so ready. Let's go. You sound confident enough. Let's go then. Okay. I think I'll be fine. I go first. Rockin'. Okay, so we need two curry rices and a tea. Your curry rice. You... I didn't even write a tea. I wrote like... I don't even know what I wrote. <laughs> and a curry rice. Huh. <laughs> this is from the chief. 400 gold. I could do this much my I could do this much myself, so I'm not going to bother. Wow. Wow. Let me just erase this real quick so I can use the same sheet. Okay. Now keep going. Okay. Naturally. Now go. S C R. So I need two curry rices and two cream stews. You had a curry rice. You had a stew. You had a stew. And if we walk around, you had a curry rice. Hmm, this is from the chief. 
800. Erasing. Hmm. That was just because there weren't many customers. It wasn't even a contest. Now keep going. Well, of course. Now go. I would go if they let me move. All right, we got A T H S H S C S H S. Got it. So we've got an A T, uh, a cream stew, and three soups. Those things. A T. You had one of these. You had one of these. You had this. And you had this. Thirteen hundred gold, rockin'. Racing, erasing. That wasn't too terrible. I'd have done it faster though. I don't even need to bother. Next. Now we're getting to the real challenge. Can you handle it? Oh yes, I can. My cheat and self can. C S C C C R S P A T C R. Got it. So we've got two curry races, uh, an SP, CC, uh, C, CS, cream stew. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. What did I miss? SP? What's SP? No. AT. I got this. You had a CS. You had a CC. CR. You had an SP. AT. And a CR. Killer. 2200 gold. Just need to erase. N not bad, but it would be it would have been easy for me. We're not done yet. Go figure, right? You're probably worn out by now, hmm? Oh my goodness, A T. There's a custard back here. N C N C. K case okay R R M today so today's special there was one of these there were two of these one of these is that an A S is no it's an H S this is an H H I my H looks like an A um, A T K C one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got everything. You had a, this, yes. K C, that's a custard, that's this. You had an effort cocktail. Okay. Right, I have to run around. You also had one of those. You had an HS. RR. Uh, you had this. And you had today's special. Huh, this is from the chief. 
I'm impressed, but I can handle it easily too. You'll never handle the next group. Even I couldn't do it alone. All right, this, uh, that was round five, I think, right? I haven't been keeping track. But I'm fairly certain it was. So, let me... I wish I had a, a small dry erase board for this. Are you really going to do it? There's no way you'll pull it off. Oh, yes, there is. C R R N C. Whoa! That was so fast! Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm gonna cheat, give me a moment. All right, so, cheating this time, I stopped the recording so I could open the video. <laughs> oh, okay, so we've got, let's see here, it looks like three custards. Uh, Nefri cocktail, two of them. Two of those. We got a roast rat pig, and two cream stews. Yep. Okay. So one, three, six, eight. Yep, that's everything. Cool. So back here we got a roast rat pig. And you have a nephri cocktail. You over here have a custard. This one down here is a custard as well. Cream stew. Cream stew, custard, and an every cocktail. Forty five hundred gold. No way. How could you do that when I can't? Because I have the ability to look back in time. You're inhuman. You're right, I am. That's enough. She's better at handle, handling customers than you are. <gasps> Chief! You've forgotten what's important about being a server. The point is for the customers to enjoy their meals. Good work. Thanks to you, the restaurant is booming. If you feel like it, please come out, help out again. You're always welcome. Wait. I lost you in every way. But you've opened my eyes. I'm going to start over and learn from square one. And we got the fruit cocktail recipe. What's this? My specialty. I'd like you to learn it. Thank you. Don't misunderstand. <laughs> oh, wait. She was talking, wasn't she? <laughs> I'm confident that when it comes to cooking, I'm better than you. So next time, we're going to have a contest to see who's the more attractive woman, including cooking. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> so. Fruit cocktail. Oh, we have all the stuff for a fruit cocktail. Look at all the fruits. Restores a large amount of TP. Moderate amount of HP, small amount of HP and TP. Changes to tear with the fruit cocktail. All right, we rockin'. <laughs> okay, so totally ridiculous and everything, and yeah, that's. I think that's a good note to end off today's episode on, because that was. <laughs> yes, we're gonna end off today's episode now, though. That took a little bit longer than I kind of expected, but there's a save point here, so there's that. In the next episode, we're going to be heading off for Grand Kokemon to meet with Emperor Peony, 
So until the next one, my name is Flares. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed it. Dislike if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment if you feel so obligated or just want to say hi. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys right back here for the next episode of Let's Play Tales of the Abyss Blind.